<sighs> Casual hair, don't care. I kind of care. Today we got a color code by PPG and it's actually PPG 1195-7 to be exact. We got the code, now let's get to cracking. Welcome back to Color Code, where we crack the code on color selection. Just having a relax on the couch today because it's been a long week, but enough about me. Today's color code is PPG 1195-7, which is also named Field Poppy. On the website, it's described as a dark, pure, autumnal orange with a pumpkin spice undertone. I'm pretty sure we can all vibe with a bit of pumpkin spice, am I right? Especially this time of year. Pumpkin spice everything, I say. Even your walls. Why not? It's a perfect paint color for an accent wall, paired with different sizes of artwork on the same wall to break up the intensity. So this is PPG's words, not mine. I agree with them in saying they're definitely correct that this color has intensity because it's indeed quite intense. I mean, just look at it, it's bright. But really it's a beautiful rich orange and it has an LRV of around 26. So quick reminder, light reflectance value is LRV and zero is really, really dark colors that don't reflect any light, and 100 is the brightest color you can get reflecting all the light. Generally speaking, the higher the number, the more bright or light a color appears to our eyes. Finding a color that's that low on the LRV scale, and 26 is pretty low, but feels this bright is truly a feat of its own. So of course being color code, we're going to be talking about this color and also some color pairings to go alongside it, including a light, medium, and dark color pairing. That way we can cover a wider spectrum for all of you. If that sounds good, like the video maybe? And let's get started. So PPG is a company that is actually pretty massive in the grand scheme of things. From a company standpoint, they're practically the biggest in paints and finishes, but their net is cast in an extremely wide, broad range. Even though they sell a lot of automotive and industrial coatings, that doesn't mean they don't have their hand in the old colorful cookie jar either. For all of my Deluxe fans watching, especially in North America, Deluxe and PPG are pretty interchangeable, so you'll be able to find this color or any PPG color with the DLX letters in front. So. They are in fact the same thing if you were just a little curious about that. I really wanted to talk about Field Poppy in particular because it's one of their more popular orange colors. And orange is also a color that many people, including myself, believe to be making a little bit of a comeback in interior design specifically. 10, 15, 20 years ago, you would see tons of oranges and reds and terracottas, but now is the time, I think, where that can start to reemerge a little bit. I could really see these types of colors becoming popular again, not because everyone is gonna paint their home like a fun house, where you have an orange room and a blue room and a yellow room, not that there's anything wrong with that, but the way these heavily saturated, bright, dynamic colors, like orange, will be used will be in maybe a different way. I've been seeing a lot of people over accessorizing, as I like to put it, but not to a fault. In fact, I actually like the aesthetic because before there was a huge popularity of minimalist light gray walls everywhere, but now people are just getting tired of it. They're getting a bit bored. So instead of having a massive white wall or even a massive orange wall, maybe you'll have an orange wall with large mirrors or pieces of artwork to help break up that abundance of color, yet still have a really fun and interesting space. So. Without further ado, let's get into some fun color pairings that I've picked out that coincide with Field Poppy. Now, when you're going with a color that's already this bold, especially as a main wall color, it's already going to be the visible accent of the space. Immediately, your eyes are gonna be drawn to it. So you don't necessarily want to get too aggressive with your other color. For the first color, it's kind of the light neutral of the bunch. You could opt for Sugar Soap, which is a pale off-white, with an LRV right around 80, which is probably as light as I'd want to go for another predominant color within the palette. And it's nice because instead of being a simple gray beige color, its main undertone is actually red. And if you've watched our 50 Shades of Gray video, you'll know that red is a great way to incorporate warmth without having an overabundance of yellow or beige, which just makes Grayish. Red warmth is going to generally feel a little more grounded, and when you're relying on orange to carry your color palette, anywhere that you can settle the whole thing down a little bit, you should. Now, if you wanted a mid-tone color that has some saturation, maybe a complementary color to use 
as an accent in smaller patches. You can go a bit bolder with a color like Cathedral Glass, which does have a turquoise feel to it, although it's slightly toned down. It's more, more of a shade of turquoise, I'd say. And although it has an LRV of 29, but to me, it actually does feel a little bit lighter than that next to Field Poppy. So even though it's blue, it has that slightly dusty effect while still bringing a pretty saturated shade. This could also become a statement wall color in an adjacent room, although I wouldn't incorporate them as wall colors in the same space because that'll just be extremely aggressive, <laughs> real bold. Could be a good choice, you know? Who am I to judge? This blue color, I would probably slide it into your 10% section of the 10, 30, 60 rule, where it's just a sliver of the overall color scheme. The dark color I would use alongside Field Poppy would be Witchcraft, which is as close to a navy black as you can get. It almost has a slate feeling to it, like slate, not slight. I really have to enunciate that, I feel. And while it's seven LRV wouldn't make it look pure black, that difference will help it coexist with any black fixtures that you might have. And matte black is still very much in style. It also happens to be a natural fit amongst the mid-tone color we talked about already. So that's a plus. What about your trim color or essentially a white to pair with Field Poppy? Essentially, if you're looking for a white paint color, just go with delicate white. It's going to be pretty much free of any distinct undertones. And I would opt for pumping in as much pure white as you can in the form of your ceiling, your trim, and maybe even artwork and furniture if you have it. Field Poppy is an insanely bright backdrop and it goes best with those clean, modern, crisp whites. So all my Ikea fans out there with a bunch of white furniture, this is a good combination to have. In general, what I want to portray here is you don't need to be scared of these bright dynamic colors, even if you like things clean and streamlined. Just try and think of different ways to incorporate things that are a little outside of the ordinary because that's really what design is all about. It's about trying things out, experimenting, and seeing what really resonates with you. Not what Pinterest says, not what I say, but what you think. So with the fall season approaching us rapidly, especially over in this neck of the woods, pumpkin spice all day, baby. Consider this color code cracked. Let me know if you like these brighter saturated colors because I know some of you do in the comment section. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.